Hello my beautiful angels, welcome back to my channel. I'm Isabel Palacios, if you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to be back on YouTube and my goodness, my relationship with YouTube, you guys know, kind of hot and cold for me, but I always want to come back to the space and I always get asked, Isabel, are you not doing YouTube anymore? Have you left YouTube? And I will say, no, I haven't left YouTube. I love YouTube. I love this platform. I just have to create more time to be more present on here because I do love YouTube. YouTube is my first love and I love you guys, but motherhood and other things have taken priority. I am on TikTok now and I haven't been giving my YouTube family the love that you guys deserve, but I am planning on coming back full time and I just, you know, want to pop in here and say hello. I wanted to talk about self-care and self-love and wanted to ask you, are you giving yourself the self-care and the self-love that you deserve? Are you actually prioritizing that in this season of your life, whatever it may look like? For me, I am very much in mom mode most days out of the week and doing my coaching with my clients and creating content here and there. But I honor the season of my life and what it looks like while also planting the seeds for what I want my next season to be like. And I always believe that we should be deliberate in how we set up our seasons and how we create our seasons and how we expand. What I notice a lot, especially with people around me or my peers is that we're not giving ourselves enough time to just kind of slow down and ease into life and the things that we wish to create. And we neglect ourselves. We don't set enough boundaries. We don't honor ourselves, honor our feelings, honor what we are doing in life. Instead, we kind of let ourselves get so worked up and anxious in the day to day and the go, go, go. And we don't actually give ourselves time to breathe and to settle in and ask ourselves, how am I actually feeling? So let me ask you, how are you feeling? How have you been? How are things treating you? How are people treating you? How's life treating you? If it's not so great, that's a good indicator that something needs to change. And something needs to give because I always say life is kind of like about trade-offs. We have to trade certain things to get other things. And sometimes we will prioritize some things over other things and that's okay. What's important is that you always check back into yourself. This is especially true if like me, you're a parent or if you are in a very demanding job or you're in a relationship that's really difficult, whether romantic or platonic, it's really important that you always come back into you and always check in with yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup and we cannot do things that we wanna do in life if we're not feeling fueled up. And you know, a lot of times, when it comes to our passions and our goals and our dreams in life, we tend to put them aside because we feel like we're not ready for them. Or we feel like everything needs to be perfect and we have to be feeling 100% or all our ducks have to be in a row in order for us to take action. And I would say the opposite is true. The more we take action towards our goals and our dreams, the more things will align in that way. I know I kind of went off on a tangent there, but this is important because if our goal is to feel good or our goal is to live a life that feels good or our goal is to create a life that feels good or to create whatever it is that we want, we have to make sure that we are going in that direction. And so self-care is where it all starts. Self-care and putting yourself first is where it all starts because that is gonna give us fuel and that is going to give us the rest that we may need. And if we're not resting as much as we should, all areas of our life become affected because everything's connected in life. 
I definitely want everyone out there to know and to feel and have kind of like a permission slip from me to you, <laughs> even though you don't need it. But sometimes we need it mentally to have that permission slip. You have a permission slip at any time, at any age, any stage to go within and take care of yourself. And something that tends to happen, especially you guys, I know my hair, I'm sorry if I touch it a lot, it's just kind of doing its own thing and I put it in hot rollers and it's just a little too disco-y for me right now. But this permission slip is to show you that you will never waste time or waste energy caring for yourself because look at yourself as like a fountain, right? Kind of like an energy source because we all, we are all energy. And a lot of us, especially if we wanna create our, our dream life, we have to look at ourselves as our energy source, as our own energy source. And we are often the energy source for people around us, right? People, we are each other's energy sources. See yourself in that way that just like you charge your phone every night, you need to recharge yourself. You need to focus in on maybe I'm lacking spiritually. Maybe I need to pray more. Maybe I need to work on my faith. Maybe it's more physical. Maybe I've been neglecting my physical health. Maybe I need to take more walks and drink more water or eat more fresh fruits and veggies or make smoothies out of frozen fruits and veggies, whatever it may be. Or perhaps I need to go for that checkup. Maybe my hormones are out of whack and I need to you know, have a full panel done and blood work and all those things. Or it could be as simple as I haven't done enough things that make me feel happy. I haven't done enough things that make me feel alive. I've been inside too much. I've been scrolling too much. I have been doing too little of the things that actually set me on fire and make me happy. It's really a lot simpler than we think. So this permission slip is your sign that it's time to go within, especially if you feel like your self-love and your self-care has been lacking, and to say no to those things that aren't aligned with where you wanna be in the future. Say no to gossip, Say no to talking bad about others or about yourself or whatever it may be or about your life. Say no to habits or people from the past that want to bring you back to a place where you don't want to be. Say no to lifestyles, certain lifestyle choices that don't align with where you want to be. Like for me, I really gave up alcohol for the most part. I mean, I had a little bit to drink on my birthday. I recently turned 29. If you know, I actually did a podcast episode, Taking Back Your Power, on turning 29 and the lessons and all that that's come through my 20s. And for me, alcohol was something that I felt like I needed to have fun. I needed to have, you know, on the weekends or whatever it is. And then, you know, since I became a mom, it's just like, I realized just how bad it was for my body, for my skin, for my mental health. And now I just don't, I don't really vibe with it anymore, right? So, you know, there's certain little lifestyle choices like that, that we make and we realize how letting those things go allow us to grow in ways that we couldn't even imagine. Sorry about that, angels. My memory card ran out of space. I had to switch that out. Hmm. I know you can't see it because it probably looks black, but it's green. Chlorophyll water. Great for detox. So one thing I really realized in my journey of self-care is that simplicity is key. I make that a point in my life to keep everything as simple as possible, especially being a mom. I feel like I'm always pulled in different directions and it's a lot every day and so I make sure that anything from my career to my relationships from anything I decide to focus on I make sure that I am keeping everything as simple as possible so those things that I actually do want to have energy for I have the energy to do it I think that if we are also aiming for more productivity or more success especially in our ventures or in our business or just you know being more scheduled and having more of a routine and being more disciplined and consistent in our goals it will require more rest the rest is only going to help us and this is something that i really had to learn early on i mean not really early on i had to learn the hard way i was really beating myself up 
in those times where I felt tired or I didn't feel motivated or something was amiss and I used to beat myself up and think it was my fault I wasn't disciplined enough when in reality it was because I wasn't getting enough rest or doing enough of the things that set my soul on fire. So all these other things that were a little bit more difficult or felt more mundane, I was literally at zero for them. <laughs> so always a good idea to do things that make you feel good. As simple as they may be, going for a walk, eating better, do those things that make you feel aligned with yourself. You know, this is a very feminine way of being. And you guys know I love living my life in my divine feminine. I love embodying my divine feminine. And that's where the healing and all of these things that have happened for me that were good came from me healing through that divine feminine. So I am a huge proponent of slowing things down and being more deliberate because a lot of people tend to tell me that they feel their life is super sped up and that they don't have enough time and they feel like they're always like a train rushing to their destination and I want to counteract that. Even if you have a high powered life and a high powered job and a high powered career, it's okay to slow down when you have the chance to do so. If you have a million responsibilities you're amazing and know that you having so many responsibilities means that you are powerful. But also know that with this power, you have to be able to rest and trust and relax in your body and relax in your day to day. Relaxing, meditation, all those beautiful things, prayer, spending time just listening to music, going for a walk, those small things or going for a drive with the windows down and cruising, if that's something you wanna do. I know gas is expensive and for a lot of people, but dolce far niente, as the Italians, do they say that? I don't know, but apparently it's an Italian phrase. Um, the sweetness of doing nothing. Having this type of lifestyle is not something you have to earn. It's not something that you have to work for. It's literally there for you and it's the biggest show of self-love and self-care that you can do. Putting yourself first, happiness first, putting your calm, your relaxation first. And this is actually an epiphany that came to me on my birthday. I went to a spa and I was like, wow, why don't I do this more often? Why don't I give myself time to just be pampered and to rest and to relax and not worry about my to-do list? And so that really made me realize as I get older, it's not about what I'm doing or what I'm not doing. It's about how I am flowing. Flow, that's the key. It's all about the flow. Am I flowing throughout my day or am I just being a you know, tornado and a hurricane? So, and before I end this video, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually having an abundance seminar. It's gonna be live and online. I've talked about my Heal to Love seminar and my Elevated Feminine sem seminar, but this one's gonna be completely different. It's all about abundance and how to create a golden mindset, create opportunity, prosperity, all about money, which is on everyone's mind these days, which is why I wanted to make the seminar. I'm gonna talk about methods and topics I haven't touched upon on social media. I want this to be very limited audience, so if you guys wanna go ahead and get your ticket, Link is down below. I hope you guys will join me because I really want to empower. I've, I've just had so many conversations about money and scarcity, the news and you know the economy and all these things. And I wanna teach you how your mindset will make you powerful no matter what type of economic times you are in, especially when it comes to prosperity. So I wanna help you become an effortless manifester of abundance and create the orient or golden mindset. So. Come join me, the Orient Mindset Seminar, link is down below. All I have for today, my angels. And if you have any video requests, please send them down to me down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me what's been going on, what's been happening, and maybe I can make some more content here on YouTube specifically for you guys, because that's why I always created my videos and that's why I create this content is to help. And that's always been my goal and always my focus. So thank you so much for watching my angels and spending some of your precious time with me today. I love you so very much and always remember this, no matter who you may be in this life, no matter what you may be going through or your challenges or what you've been through or what you look like, always remember your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. 
I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!